Rune heads. Hey guys, we're trying conglomerate 451. Because that... The number gets around a bit, if you haven't noticed. It might be... You, you heard it like 30 times now, right? Might be about time for you to pick up that Ray Bradbury novel, finally catch up, currently finally know what the fuck people are talking about. Ah, Jesus. That's zero to a hundred real fast on audio. Alright, calm down. Cyberpunk. Conglomerate 451 is set in a dark cyberpunk future. Where human life is little more than meat that can be bought at the market. Clones are created in labs, and are at the forefront of the war between law and justice. Which are different, and the corrupt corporations. Never mind, Lon, Justice is the same category. I had to go read a little further, and it's the corporation was the other thing. That's what's going on. On this battlefield, they die. And on this battlefield, they live again. Hey, you're in early access. Some stuff doesn't work and things, and there's bugs. It's probably like it's fine. I get the premise of early access. I trust you. As, as long as you don't brick my computer somehow, then we're gonna have a we're gonna have a chat. Oh, create. There you go. That one door slamming stock sound. Shring. Director to your new agency's headquarters. I'm Clarice, your office assistant. Nice to meet you. Good evening, Clarice. Fill out a couple of documents before you take office. Valhalla. All right. Nah, fruity outlook. There we go. What do we got here? They're similar. Ish. Sure. Great. Everything will be recorded and sent to the administration department. Now, if you want to follow me, I'll lead you into the agent's quarters. Here you will meet your current agent squad. Right after these messages. Nope, there we go. Welcome, Director. This is a cloning center. You can create your first clone squad. Select clone new agent from the left menu. If you prefer, you can choose auto mode, and three basic agents will be created for you. I'm not afraid. Let's do some clone recap. Three ba backgrounds, three memory blocks, 40 mutations. Oh, backgrounds for the clones, like their histories. I thought you meant like, I can unlock new backgrounds for the screen, <laughs> which is a weird thought. Hi. Soldier, Infiltrator, Drifter, Splicer. You can't do that one yet. Okay, so we need to unlock those ones. So we're gonna make a we're gonna make a soldier, an infiltrator, and a drifter, because those are what are available. Is the age random? Oh, that's HP. That's HP. For a second there, I thought it, I thought I was reading it as H as a as age. I was concerned that he was getting a random age. I guess they're clones, so they don't have ages. Is really what's going on. This is a lot, admittedly. This is a lot. How many, guess, how many do I get to have? So we have single shot, stunning shot, conflagrate. Uh, no summary text to say what it does. I just have to read the raw stats and try to compare them all, I guess. This one says they'll be stunned. I thought conflagrate might mean that they like, oh, it's an area attack. Single target, single target area, 10 meters. Outburst, single target, increased damage for Sandroid target by 10%. Barrier, increases defense by 5. Shield regen, increased shield regen, regenerate 25% of your shield, and recover hit points 14. Okay, so like, 
Probably just want to have a basic attack, right? That makes sense. Am I picking... I'm picking six of these attacks. Okay. Let's have an AoE attack. Did I click it wrong? There we go. Uh, getting four more of these abilities. Oh, so I'm only really ignoring one of them. Maybe Outburst? Oh, never mind. Uh, okay. Let's do stunning shots and shield regeneration. All right, now we're doing mutations. They can be of normal DNA or many normal, not normal. Not available. Now these are available. All right, you have normal DNA. And then just a, a confirmation screen, I guess. Tyrell Dollins, age 34. <laughs> Alright. He's my soldier. Let's go red for him. Perfect. Your first agent's done. Now we need to clone a second one. The squads consist of three. You can't accept ma missions without three. Drifter. Philippe Pen Pendley. I don't know what a drifter is necessarily. Electrocute. Enemies are shocked and take 30% bonus damage, just in general, I guess. Death mark. Hits an enemy, uh, hit enemies are marked, and then they have more chance of taking a critical hit. And they have reduced defense, apparently. Swift strike. Radiation. Enemies hit become contaminated by radiation, taking plus 5% damage. Piercing. Part of the damage to the shield is redirected to HP. Neat. Pulse. Increased damage versus cyborg target by 10%. Improved weapon. Just 10-25% damage on a teammate. teammate. First aid. Remove radiation status and recover 10 health. Nero stimulator. Remove shock and increase initiative by 10. Okay. Let's get an electroshock. Get the ability to poison some dudes. Death mark and first aid. Because the other guy has the shield regen skill, right? So I should give this guy the he the health regen skill. Especially since it comes with an extra effect of removing a negative effect from somebody. Ah uh, yes, the, the two stages that make up a human. Bone and then man. That's just as good as the intro to uh, Westworld. Uh, I don't really know what a drifter is. Purple. Blue, green, green. Great, we're almost ready. Now we're gonna get an infiltrator. Got Deandra Judd. Accurate shot. Part of the damage to shield is retired to HP. It has it has a a piercing effect to it. Hmm. Blast, which is an area attack. Death shot. Damage versus a marked target. Plus 25%. I gave the other guy a mark, didn't I? That could be good. Just destroy somebody. Radiation. Hits become contaminated with radiation. Oh, there's death mark again. Increased critical chance. Accurate aim. Increased vision by 10. Crit hit chance by 5. Damage by 12%. Called a defense skill, even though it's all, all those are all offensive abilities. Spark. Remove stun, remove mark. Ah, a defense. That's a defensive skill right there. Alright, let's do accurate shot. Death shot. Death mark. Spark. I'm going a little fast and not that careful because this is a let's try. So it'll be a little kind of productive if I spend 40 minutes making characters and then end the video. And that's the all we see of the game. I'm being a little sloppy. And you're a sniper. You go purple. 
Good job. Now, I have some things to do. So, you go back to the main office and explore your agency headquarters if you like. Okay? Clarice. Director, this is your main office. From here, you can access every other part of your headquarters. You already know the cloning center. The quarters are where you inspect and train your agents. Research center is where you up, uh, upgrade your technology and facilities. And health center is where you can bring wounded agents. Probably sufficiently XCOM-like across the board. Do I have anything to spend research on? The research is divided into five sections. Each section allows you to improve a specific technology for your agency. Cloning tech. Research requires credits and tech. You usually need time to complete research too. All right, well, I do have credits and tech, so that's good. Let's research cloning. There you go. Go ahead and just take some strides forward there. Health center. No one should be really hurt yet. Unfortunately, the health center is still under construction. You need to research technology in order to bring it online. All right. So that's not even a thing yet, but it doesn't need to be a thing yet because I don't have... Oops, I just clicked out of the window. Please don't crash on me. Gives me a chance to turn it down a little bit on my end, though. Some of those confirmation sounds are a little spiky. Let's start a new mission. Let's see what some actual proper gameplay looks like now. Sector 451 of Conglomerate City consists of four districts, each under the influence of a corporation. Your job is, job is to free all of the cores, area by area, by completing missions. Let's wipe some dudes out. Downtown. 100% hive control, apparently. Nope. District's called by Asenso. Or Asenco, maybe? Maybe these are locate like level names, I guess? Hive. This is your first assignment. Be careful and play it safe. Conglomerate City is a dangerous place. Good luck, Director. Skirmish. Okay. Well, we have the team set up, so let yeah, let's go. Start. Wait, in the loading screen, they they had they're, they're modest. <laughs> They suddenly have, like, bras and under underwear on where they were na naked a moment ago when we were actually cloning them. Maybe that's the- maybe that's the med center. Float in a tube and heal over time. Like, Luke Skywalker and... Rico's Roughnecks. <laughs> Welcome to your first mission. Move with WASD, rotate with Q and E, you look around and- while holding the mouse- middle mouse button. There we go. Right, all that warm-up. I forgot that this is a first-person dungeon crawler, not a, uh... This is a first-person dungeon crawler, not a, not a, uh... Top-down XCOM type game. <laughs> I knew that going in, but we spent all the time setting up and I actually lost track. It's an interesting art style for that kind of game. A very different setting. What's up? That's a familiar helmet si design, isn't it? Hack terminal. This is a city terminal. By hacking it, you can get control of the target mission area's facilities to obtain tactical advantages. But pay attention. If you are discovered, an alarm will be triggered and the mission will become harder. Don't forget to log in when uh, to log in with your best hacking agent using the up and down keys in your gamepad, or click the icon with the mouse. Okay, so you got all the hacking ability. Hack. What is happening? Here uh, uh, are sh here are showing the codes. Huh. You will need to search for to gain access to the system. Here is showing the system. Code flows. You must identify the correct codes and select them. Here is showing the time left to complete the hacking. If you select the wrong codes, time will flow faster. Uh, media, agency we need the connections to media as operation 499. Oh, it was up there. I, I just missed it. Uh, there you are. What? Compu my computer was just shot down. We need another terminal. 171. 
There's a by fire one, you know, the terminal 614. Yeah, we did a hack. Alright. You've gained control of the system. Now you can choose which advantage to get for the rest of the mission. Ooh. Unlock all doors. Proximity sensor jammer. We will be able to, we will be able to ambush all enemies. That sounds useful. Neat. Alright. I need to remap the controls. Audio and video. What? No, remap the controls. Uh, I can't remap the controls, dang it. I want A and D to be strafing and Q and E to be turning. Or not the other way around, I mean, yeah. I got I said it backwards. The way that they're organized doesn't make sense to me. Oh well. We live with it. Such is the case with early access. Yeah, if I'm ever if I do choose to cover this game, it would definitely be after it's done. When it comes to like doing a full playthrough. Ah, I'm pressing the wrong buttons because I can't remap it. Okay. Engaged. Alright, what is combat like? Is he coming at me? What are you doing? Hey, stop that. How do I... When you get close to an enemy squad, combat begins. The timeline shows the action order. Each character will act based on their initiative. On top middle of the screen, you can find useful t uh, tips. Okay. During combat, you will need to use your agent's skills. Select a skill with the mouse and or the 1, 2, 3, and 4 keys. Select the target with the, the, the mouse button. Move the mouse over a skill icon to see more info about it. You can also perform special actions. Hold the right mouse button to use the radio control to select one. Left button to confirm, right... okay. Move party. You, use your turn to move your whole team. Shield charge. I don't even have that many battery points in my meter to use. Use drugs! But this, those aren't in the game yet. Skip turn. Scan enemy. Absorb energy. So a lot of these actions don't exist yet. Not yet. This guy has an AoE, right? Target enemy, target enemy, target enemy. Oh, did I not give him one? That's too bad. Oh, this guy'll take more damage. Let's not electrocute this dude. 75% chance to hit. Okay. Let's do let's death mark this guy so I can murder him. You're marked, motherfucker. Oh, he's coming over to get me. Oh, I've been whiplashed, which means something. They'll have to patiently walk over here because I approach them from a strange angle. It's interesting to see them all approach from different directions. Hi, sir. This guy's just chilling. A little brute boy. Okay. This is the area effect that I knew that, we, that I was remembering from this character. How could I mix up these bald white guys? They, they look so distinct from each other. So he's been death marked. I did totally give two of them death mark on accident. I couldn't fully remember what the other character had before. Electrocute. It's been resisted. So this guy's been marked, right? So let's death chop him to death. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> he's almost dead, but he's gonna get back up and shrug off that bullet he took to the head. Whoa! The, oh no, he's already going down. That's flashing skull means he's fucked, right? I've got two flashing, uh, I've got a, two broken ribs on this main guy, apparently. This first fight has, like, major stakes. I'm gonna electrocute his head. Right in his head. Critical hit. He ceased to exist. That was dramatic. Death shot. I need to mark you, though. Accurate shot. Cleom. Stunning shot. So it's like turn-based dungeon crawler crossed with, like, the Fallout VAT system. Oh, he's back up. 
He's less dead than expected, as it turns out. Plot twist, he's not even dead at all. Go back to being dead, please. You are now marked. Ah. Let's try this whole death shot again, but this time for realsies. There you go. Oh, he's super dissolved. Alright, there he goes. In the cyberpunk future, most humans are water-soluble. Finish him. Or miss, I guess. It's cool. It's not like he was moving or anything. There we go. Combat over. Can I talk to you, sir? He, he who exists between tiles. How have you managed this incredible feat, sir? Existing between the tiles that make up the universe. The reality. The continuum that we are as people. Can I look at all? Can I look around at all? Oh, there you go, middle mouse, right. Let's go somewhere. Please wait, approaching area. I like to think of them as approacherators. That's that that's a new name now. They're not elevators anymore, they're approachers. Dresses, clothing. What do these meters mean exactly? Can I look at them? Eight pain points. So the top meter is pain. Workshop. Can I open this, please? Well, I'm inside. Did I want to be? Can I hack his computer? Yeah. Tech ability. Nope, it's definitely you each time. Shared processor unit. Ooh. Choose the agent for SPU's extraction. So extra damage or extra health, extra initiative, extra... T There's a lot of effects coming out of these. Oh, different thing per slot you put it into. Okay. I gotcha. So they're like... Gems from Diablo, more or less. Extraction completed. Can I put it in? Tab. I, M, oh, that M works, but not for what I want. Escape, no. P, T, C, E, oh, that's moving. Uh, right click, I guess? Is this the only way to open this menu? How do I equip things? Maybe I can't? Maybe that's a base? Maybe it's a thing you do back at base? All right. We can rip stuff out of basically anything, apparently, but it eats away at our battery. Oh, sounds like we broke it. Good job, us. Ah, bonus tech points for my tech. Be really useful for when I go back to my research place where we research tech by mashing tech into things and they're like that ah, that tech that tech's good for finding tech the techs the tech garbage disposal tiny oh can I click on that maybe not no, my objective is to kill all the dudes still No trespassing. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky! Ha ha! Did I... Did I surprise... Yeah, ambushed! I get to do the first attacks, I guess. Uh, I can't... You, you're both white, I can't tell... 
Is th this is the tech guy? It's one of the hints that this guy, what well, this game might be an early access game and an indie game is just the fact that y your characters seemingly can't have hair. Baldness is pretty universal, apparently. But it makes it, when everyone's a bald person, it's way harder to tell them apart. Death mark on Snipes McGee. Consider yourself marked. Boom. Oh. That's a. Uh, that's what we call synergy. Eat it. Oh, the guy in the middle of the explosion got missed by the explosion, of course. Death mark. You just got marked. And now you're gonna get murked. There it goes. Wow, that's a really effective approach. And he failed to shiv me. He just brought a knife to a cyberpunk fight. <laughs> I hope this is very embarrassing for you. There you go. I dig the music. Can it be? A Japanese schoolgirl ninja? Not for long. Or maybe for a bit longer. You don't know me. The person I target keeps getting missed by the AoE, and I'm concerned about by this fact. Oh no. I'm being approached. Ow. I have achieved the scratched eye status effect, which is not a thought I want to think, but there it is. Hey. Their health's not very healthy so far. I have. That's the second time I've missed a guy who's already down. Oh, cool. No, that's cool. I don't want competent party members. There we go. Mission completed. You want to go back to the agency or keep ex keep exploring? Let's poke around a little bit. I'm curious. There's presumably more to do around here or something, right? But it's will do fine. I love randomly breaking the things that I seek. Everything's all futury and spacey, but also like cold and depressing and like metal grating on the floor. And then like just this, this open industrial fan just right next to where you sleep. That's like the size of your bed. Like it's huge and more of them here. How much air circulation do you need around here? I'm curious. Also like... You must be really good at maintaining these fans, because, like, shop fans get loud as shit when they, uh, start squeaking. I know. It's not a good time. So, like, if they could start just- if it starts to degrade when you live there, it's just gonna keep getting worse and worse and worse. <clears throat> and you, like, immediately can't sleep. Okay, so the hive is... The hive must be... No, I think the hive is the location. I think it's saying that Asen Asenko has lost five influence in the hive. So you, you degrade away their control of the area over time. By doing a, apparently a lot of missions, because we only did one twentieth of the progress just now. New trauma, scratched eye, whiplash, and broken ribs. <laughs> Learn something new! Well, it's a good day to be a sniper, apparently. Everyone got skill points. They got Watchful 2 and Leecher 1. This seems like it could be interesting. There's a few presentation things I'd like to fix. And I'd also like to be able to remap my controls. There's no settings menu in here. Options. No, the only options are audio and video. There's no remapping of your controls. That's a bummer. Research Center. Healing Tech. Let's learn how to heal. There we go. You've researched metabolism. Like, holy shit, dude. 
generation tank alpha. Who needs healing? You do have a bit of pain and trauma. How do I look at my characters? Uh, I do want to look at like what their traits are. Quarters. Where your agents hang out between missions. You can expect weak and strong points, train them, and install cyber limbs on their bodies. So we don't have enough time in this episode to do another mission necessarily, but I do want to look at the characters a bit. So here's what he looks like. This is the first time we've actually seen him, and what he actually- what a- what a sold- We've- we've made him from birth, and, he, and took him on a mission, but this is the first time we can actually see what he looks like as a character. So it's, he's this dude covered in hexagons, because it's the future, and the future has hexagons, bro! And then a giant-ass minigun, which is always an ironic name. You can dispose of him, there's a dispose button. Customize. And make him look different? I can rename him, which is hilarious, because he already has a name. I can be like, nah, it's not your name anymore. Minus 4% vision must be from my scratched eye. Ugh. I don't like thinking about that. Here's where my skill points are. You need training research to upgrade your skill- your- yourself. So I have skill points, but can I use them at all? Conflagrate. Change skill. Oh, you can just swap them out with the other skills. That's it. That seems to be about it. Until I get training research, I can't actually use my skill points, I th think. Could be wrong. There's a sniper. And there's my infiltrator. Or, no, my, my infiltrator, my drifter. So drifters are like techno power guys, and infiltrators are like snipers. And yeah, the color I chose is the outlining on their costume. So it's not just in this frame, but actually shows up here. Which would be useful for telling them apart if that was something you could ever actually see in game. Because as far as I can tell, you can't see the characters until you go to this menu. Which is maybe a little disappointing. But also, can we give them hair, please? They have a beard, but no hair. Can't help but notice that. It just looks strange to me. Well, anyway, there's my crew. There's a bunch of, up there's a bunch of upgrade systems. That's what this- that's what this is. You do on a- you go on a bunch of of, uh, first-person dungeon crawler missions. You customize your squad like it's XCOM, more or less. And you try to overthrow cyberpunk mega corporations because they're bad and evil capitalism. Thanks for watching, like always. Speaking of capitalism, if you want to check out the link in the description, you can buy this game if you want to check it out for yourself. Thank you to the developers for sending me a code so I could preview their game. And I'll see you next time.